What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. To pick up where we left off, we have this force under Gervasio Comin to come and attack the navy led by Dalpat Khan and their full stack of Mughal troops. We will be engaging them, um, but we'll only probably take ships that we think we can actually use. Um, because to be honest, we've got plenty of ships, plenty of recruitment capacity. We don't really need ships, but the main objective will be to destroy as many as we can to destroy this army. So let's take them on. Uh, so my navy is does considerably overpower that of the enemy, so we should we should prevail. Doesn't mean I'm not going to lose ships because I mean, hey, it's me. If there's one thing I like to do, it's lose ships and uh, commit friendly fire issues. So we've got just a bunch of first rates. Get my second rates selected. To uh, the uh, the wind direction's a bit funky, but if I deploy like that, so they are turning downwind. Because if they sailed that way, things might be a bit tricky. But they are heading right for us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the recording here because it will likely take a bit of time for them to get here and then I'll bring you guys back once the battle is joined. All their heavy, the more capital ships are in a, a nice line here and we will destroy them one by one and bring them into our fleet or scuttle them as appropriate. So see you in a second everyone. Here we go. After a bit of, after some manoeuvring shenanigans, the enemy are making their way over to our position so our troop our ships are going to sail and get their first broadsides off so some of our i did send some of my fleet to try and cut them off because they were going this direction but that's since been abandoned so a lot of these ships are going to sail to actually catch up to where the rest of the fleet actually are so you guys just wait as they sail along they'll come within range of these ships that are all nicely angled against them Ship is on fire! Quite badly on fire, actually. Come on, Leon Coronato, you, you should be firing at that ship. Oh, sound problems, but still a broadside did get fired off. So this ship might actually be lost to fire, which wouldn't be terrible. Let's try to sail these ships into more of a... a line like so. Okay, that first rate ship of the line went down hard. Try to sail some of my ships further along. I mean, you guys can't. Well, I sit there going, sail at full sail. Obviously, they can't because they are sailing against the wind. Okay, it looks like they've changed their positioning. So let's make sure our ships are sailing parallel to their line. Whoa, slow down. Yeah, so the first straight ship of the line got their uh, fire under control. Get these ships to sail onwards. So their smaller ships here are acting as a bit of a bodyguard for their heavier ships. But that's not going to cut much ice with the head of their column because obviously they are still sailing into the guns of our first straight ship of the line. Get these ships to sail at full sail. That's part of the reason why some of these ships are struggling to sail, because they are having to deal with the slower ships up front. That first rate ship of the line there should pro is is going to be get up, is going to get incredibly upset 
as they continue to sail. Ooh, you've just shot a load of sh shots into the mast of your own carronade frigate. See, they are pivoting to deal with us. And you're on fire again. The second time you're on fire, come on, Edgy and Pache, you should be getting into a position to engage the head of their column. Yeah, knocking out some of these lighter, lighter, um, lightly armoured ships are going to be pretty par for the course. Because they are acting as a bit of a bodyguard for the heavier ships behind, but it's not a massive problem for us. Looks like the Hyundai, the Hunyadi Ayusuf is is still turning. Obviously, San Giorgio is continuing to engage. Ah, oh, there we go. The Adrianian Pache is now firing. get these ships to make sure they keep their keep their angles good you're still good because they were originally in formation but I cocked it up when I was doing um, when I was outside of the action let's get this guy to sail full sail to get him out ahead of the San Giorgio you can continue sailing it half sail we're all starting to attack the Carronade Frigate, who's lost another mast. See, I think the problem with this ship is she's well, it's sailing into the wind. So you do have to stay slightly more angled off to get the speed. But soon these lighter ships are going to start going down. I mean, Halab has actually been... There we go. Halab has actually been getting hit from secondary fire. I mean, it misses, pretty much. Lots of these heavier ships can't actually engage until they are... until they actually uh, start to destroy some of the smaller ships. I mean, I might try and get... Oh, that might be a bit of a gamble to sail you guys up this flank, because these are my lighter ships. So I might just get them to sail behind the line at a faster speed to try and provide some fire in between some of my heavier ships because it looks like efforts if you make an effort to try and get ahead of their line that's going to be pretty useless because they are sailing in circle formation so Halab is getting quite badly damaged So you guys have to say oh, some, something more like that, which is going to take a hell of a long time to get to. But the hope is we can start trying to at least match their turn. And we are providing an awful lot of fire. Obviously Halab and the Hunyadi Yusuf is up, is increasingly poor shape because of the uh, Carronade Frigate that was acting as a bodyguard has surrendered. This sixth rate is routing, although they will likely be the subject of further attacks. They've lost a mast, so they will probably surrender in due course. Yeah, these ships can't fire 
for a while. So let's speed up to double time. Because these ships are trying to sail into a better position, which, you know, as a natural result means they can't actually fire. So the sixth rate is still routing. Okay, not that fast. None of our ships are on fire. Okay, there we go. Now some of our ships can start to fire across their formation. But you might actually try pivot out. Pivot. Ooh, okay. Are they starting to change their engagement, their engagement posture against us? Ah. Well, there we go. Now they're. I mean, that sixth rate is still sucking up a lot of fire. There we go. I want to start trying to knock out some of their heavier ships. So Halab is wavering on fire, routing, dismasted. Hopefully, she will surrender. If she doesn't, it's not the end of the world. We'll chase them down and we will destroy the rem remaining ships of the fleet. Okay, the sixth rate has surrendered. The second rate ship of the Lions lost her rear mast. That's quite delightful. Halab is still on fire. She is taking a lot of fire from my ships, so hopefully any day now. Come on. That's a lot of damage. And she's still holding on. She's she's a brave one. A sixth rate sinking. Fivri, the first rate ship of the line, is going to take a lot of damage. You could sail at quarter sail, presumably? Battle status! So these three ships are going to try and sail something like that. To surround and destroy the head of the column. You're still on fire. The second rate in the centre is on fire. You guys actually hold, stand still, because this ship might come and in, come into your range. Good, Halab is fu is on fire. Fivri's lost a rear mast. Yeah, we know that. It's two of their second rates have lost their. Oh, this is the first. Fivri's a first rate. She's taken a lot of fire. There you go. The second rate ship, the line to the rear over here, is now getting engaged. start sailing you go sailing you out a bit more of an off angle because you can just pour shots into the back of Mr. Unyari Yusuf. Let's get ready to fire a broadside right into the second rate ship of the line because it feels like these guys are probably going to deal with most of these remaining ships. Third rate ship of the line is very upset. Side fired. Ooh, we fired a handful of guns. All well, my second rates has lost his mast. You men pivot, just so I don't waste your. I'm not going to wait for them to be fully reloaded either. It's a combination of the rotation of my ship. Get some of his third rates back as a bit of a emergency fighting force because it does look like oh the, damn that ship blew up and I concentrate artillery fire some of my ships aren't getting good shots off you guys need to sail it full sail
So a good number of their ships are actually... Okay, let's pivot you to the left a bit, because you can pour some shots into the Sinan Bekitashi. Oh, broadside left doesn't matter. Broadside right, that matters. Fortunately, these, these are a lot of their damaged ships. Get this ship to pivot. So two of my thirds are working their way back to this side of the line. So you're going to pivot this way, fire your broadside, then pivot towards your left to make sure they didn't the moment to make sure they don't creep around behind you. The broadside into that ship there. I mean, obviously, not n lots of these ships can't actually shoot at their targets. You guys should get into a good position to fire at the Hyundai Yusuf. There we go. Another devastating volley. I'm not sure where you're sailing to get to, me old mucker. Okay, let's pivot hard, because it looks like these guys are going to try and make a show of it. This third rate ship of the line is incredibly upset. Very well. You... Now don't go left, go right. Oh, doesn't really matter. Ooh, so the, the first rate ship here is surrendered. To be honest, you may as well fire a round shot now, then reload to chain. Second rate to try and haul ass back here quickly. Third rate's lost a mast. Second rate can pivot. Okay, now fire round shot, reload right, fire round shot, load left. You're going to fire round shot and load left as well. couple of good shots against ships here. Fire whatever guns you got. They're charging in. Yeah, the third rate ship line is naturally going to be quite upset. Fire broadside left because you've got most of your guns up and ready. Third rate sinking. First rate ships on fire. So let's fire that chap first. And you chaps. So our third rates that have tried to make their way over to us. One of them is routing. You ships all pivot as much as you can. You get ready because you're going to have to fire a broadside 
with your 36 guns. Pretty sure you fired fairly recently. Fire now. Because she'd already started firing her broadside, so I may as well start shooting to try and cut down on the numbers of guns. She can bring to bear. You keep pivoting, you sail on. Fire! Your days are numbered. You're going to fire round shot right, everyone else, spin. You fire off your broadside left so I don't get, so I don't get screwed over by misremembering what ships are where. Might get a bit of friendly fire here. You might chain shot that fella. There we go. Knocked a mast down, so now they're not going to be going anywhere. They're all firing shots into the second rate. The second rate surrendered. So all of these ships get over here rapidly. The ship has surrendered, so let's go back to chain shot for you. Let's load your broadside right. Yep, you might just make the second rate waver, although he's going to try and book it. Keep an eye on these broadsides. You're going to fire first. You're a bit early as well, but that's okay. You're going to fire chain to upset this ship's masts. Foremast has gone down. Routing. Set you to board. Try and pivot hard. Try fire chain shot. You've cut off the fourth rate who has surrendered. Masts are going down. Good stuff, and that ship has surrendered. So now it's just this second rate continues to defy us and their fleet has been destroyed. We're going to continue because if we capture this ship they're done for. So just pivot this fellow around. Yeah, either she surrenders because of round shot fire or that ship I was manually controlling dismasts her. There we go. Remaining zero. I mean I guess I may as well bring okay select them all I've screwed this up before where I've picked out all the ships I want, not click that button, and then scuppered the rest. Blub 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 blub. Good, so this force force make way to San Jose and repair these ships sail to an existing fleet that could be well, sail to Grand Bahama where you will gather your strength and then join properly this fleet. Oh, it's knackered. Okay, let's sail you to Holguin, because we do have shipyard facilities to repair you there. Good. So then we've got an action. I know, I remembered it up here. March you guys up like so. Then go hit Mohinda Kachwaha, because this is a large force of irregular troops behind our lines. 
And I mean, when I say irregular, I do mean irregular. They're all, they're all mob units. So let's clear them out. Push them back towards the gap near the Great Lake. So the rest of the, uh, with the rest of the mob of other armies that are waiting to uh, intercept us there in Canada. But I think what we're going to do as well is the Florida, the front near um, Falmouth is open. So we do need to push and take some of the cities there. So, disperse the guns. They're going to swarm us. So disperse the guns. Maximize their chain shot capabilities. Disperse them amongst the amongst the line. I mean, I know it does make them more susceptible to being mobbed, being so spread out, because somewhere is going to hit them. But all that firepower is in the centre of my line. My flanks have got three units of line infantry on each edge. If I redeploy... Okay, I've deployed all my guns. Howitzers are a bit close to the line. Cavalry on either flank, because again these are mob units, so I am going to want to use my heavy cavalry. Just hit the levee wherever you see fit. I mean, we can't hit that massive blob of it back there, which is unfortunate, but... I mean, they've just got so damn many... units... that it kind of feels like we can't really go wrong. Push up on the flanks. I mean, artillery, uh, try and shrapnel shot units that are possible to shrapnel shot, but to be honest, I might just speed up time and let them get closer to me because all we're going to be doing is quick climbing the hell out of a bunch of units that can't really defend themselves. And I'm okay with that, but are they okay with it? Lots of them are actual... Well, they've got levy units and they've got bow units. So the issue is, is they can actually close the distance with their mob units and uh, potentially tie my infantry up fighting like that. But to be honest, yeah, continue to shrapnel shot. Got some sound shenanigans or you might actually fire canister shot at the unit that's in range. So they're massing on the right flanks. Let's get my howitzers and get them to target bow units or levy that are further away. My line is engaging. So let's try... Sometimes spamming that sometimes works. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> there we go, it's back again. But yeah, the mob, yeah. So right now we do have... So the bowmen themselves aren't the problem. It's when the levy run up and tag my... Tag my line to such a degree that we can't do anything but just start slogging it out with the bayonet. It's not a massive problem, but it just it's just a thing. That's why I've got my cuirassier out here. Who's that back there? Their, well, their one cavalry unit is just going to hold back. Because they're getting ready now. They're making their way in. Turn guard mode off so that if these guys rout, they will chase them down. New men charge into the levee. Yep, yeah, this is what it's going to turn into. Charge the levee. 
pursue them, drive them off. And they're rebalancing over to the right flank, which is... Oh my god, that's a lot of guys. Very well. We shall meet them in the battlefield. So the right flank... You men charge that unit of levy. You guys are chopping up that unit of levy. So, part of this is the reason why is an example of when you switch off guard mode, because you do have to think, you know, no, I'm not going to let you run away and recover. I'm going to pursue you. So your ability to fight, continue to engage me, is lessened. Because you're not actually going to stand. All my artillery cease fire, my howitzer switch to round shot. Start trying to pick off the general's bodyguard. You're going to keep chasing down that unit of levy to make them shatter. Mikyosia clear out this levy unit, again trying to make them shatter. Just because letting them... Pushing them away to make them rout again seems like a particularly pointless strategy, because it never seems to work. They always seem to just... Rout, come back, rout, come back, rout, come back, rout, come back, and you just want to go, no. Just kill them shattered. So get over here and knock up that unit of levy. You men chase down that unit of levy that's wavering. You guys are holding magnificently against that single lone unit of levy. So one of these units, get back here and charge them. The other two pursue the levy. And you can tell they are going to potentially cause us some issues down the line, but by chasing them down. Okay, let's get my general back over here, because they're being pursued. You men kill that unit of levy. There we go, a big old punch up. That's what this has devolved into. But I think we'll be okay. Actually, you guys better get over here. Actually, no. You guys have them. You guys get up here and help defend that regiment of foot. So these guys... Any units we have left, put them back in... Any units that win in their little combats, get them... The general's going to die. So let's run him away. And hopefully into the rear of one of these miscreants on this flank to help open that up a bit. So this, my artillery back here, engage the mounted tribal auxiliary at the rear. Charge into the bowman. Curiosity are shattered, they're broken. The infantry continue to attack. They've all routed. Yeah, you guys chase them on. Just make sure my cavalry do shatter units to make sure they don't come back. So they're going to be pouring fire onto these men as they rout, which is fine. I mean... You guys are meant to be engaging the general's bodyguard. All the artillery go after the mounted tribal auxiliary to the rear. 
Then all my infantry chase down the levee there. They're shattered. So go after this unit instead because they're both shattered. Like, this is just a bit of an experiment really. Get my colonial line. Fight them as long as they can. Two units are routed, chase down the last remaining, or kill the last remaining unit of levy. And my cuirassier are involved as well, so no wonder they were upset. Charge on into the mounted tribal auxiliary, retarget my field artillery against the elephants. Get my cavalry back here. There we go. The mounted tribal auxiliary is going to be under under um, under stress because they are going to be facing heavy infantry plus heavy cavalry, and their general is going to be <laughs> is taking artillery fire like a champ. My general has fallen. Aha! Spikes. Fair enough. He's going to rout. Yeah, there's only four of them. And that guy's going to die on the spikes. Yeah. He may as well chase them down. There you go. The enemy general's bodyguard is routing. The amount of tribal auxiliary are routing. Hurrah! The massive enemy line has been beaten in a battle more akin to uh, Rome than Empire but I still like it. Fundamentally, you've got to kind of lean into the fact that they are going to overwhelm your line, and because I've only got to fight one of them, one army like that, rather than loads, it's not so bad. So you men recruit your general, build up your line, you push... Alright, so Mr. Mr. You... Pronti. Let's push up to just surround this guy so that if he goes anywhere we can intercept and destroy him in a fairly benign defensive battle because I don't want to auto-resolve and damage all those men. But look, Falmouth is ripe for the taking and potentially so is Boston. So if I deploy two armies over here to head off these guys pushing in to help, I can send an army in to take Falmouth which might... I'm not sure who it draws in. Maybe this guy? We can at least take Falmouth. That would be a good outcome, I think. It'd be another city taken away from the Mughals and a couple of armies destroyed. Let's take him out. So we are very much going to look to not call in any reinforcements here. We want our armies to be in a reasonable, in reasonable strength to continue the attack towards Boston, if that's possible. Because Boston, again, would allow us to recruit um, pretty serious armies right on the front line. So. Put our guns on the high ground behind us. Our howitzers up front to drop quick lime on people. So probably going to form two brigades. Because I don't think we can go straight up that terrain. Gonna get our general involved. Okay, yeah, they've really deployed defensively here. So my howitzer's gonna limber up. So it looks like the reinforcements coming in on the left, which is good to know. Twelve pound of foot artillery. So they're running, you aren't. So you guys can now run. So my artillery isn't actually firing, so let's just aim at the horsemen in the centre of the position. The native lancers are charging. 
So you men position, deploy into square. My heavy cavalry is there waiting for them. That's a volley. I'm not sure I presume they were going to try and get my guns, but I don't think that's going to be the outcome they quite wanted. There we go. Get my coverage to attack the Lancers now. They should fall fairly quickly because Lancers are excellent on the charge, not so good in a sustained action. So because they're pushing on the left, I actually want... Well, the reinforcements are coming in from the left. What I actually want to do is push to the right. Kill enough of them. You men out of square. Push up, flank, Lancer guards out wide. Heavy cavalry up front. If they advance towards us on the... Ooh, okay. Squares ahoy, because they're coming in. Field artillery folks fire the Zimandari horsemen, because they're danger close. Get you guys out of square. Form line and engage. They're going to have a go at this unit of fusiliers, and that's not going to go quite to plan. Which the horseman is now just. They just took a huge artillery barrage. Enemy cavalry on the left. Two units of cavalry knocked out. See, I like the idea of pushing the left. Because it doesn't really give them anywhere to run. I can get my cavalry into the mix to knock out their cavalry. We can then threaten their guns. So my howitzers are limber. To be honest, I could probably launch launch my heavy cavalry in there to attack them. The militia are, are upset because they're being shot in the back because they haven't yet about face. Ooh, that's an excellent timing. The art foot artillery absolutely nailed them before my lancers hit. So my lancers should probably beat skirmish cavalry in an action like this, especially with the supporting fire. So let's not take the guns. Let's not select the guns in this. And push up with my lancers again up front. Howitzers start bombarding anyone over up here because you are in range, and my my field artillery is at the it's at the extreme range. That's a bit of an artillery park forming on the left. Let's push my left hand flank up a bit. That's their artillery dealt with. If my howitzers fire, they'd get some good kills, so I might actually just watch what they're going to do. Excellent. Shells inbound. I love it when my frame rate drops. Luckily, I changed target. Lucky I got my cavalry away, because it looks like they're actually. Some of them were hitting the. were going to hit where my uh, cavalry were attacking. You guys are stuck.
Okay, you should not charge on like that. But their artillery has started. They, their shrapnel missed, but it's still it's still shrapnel. So let's anchor this. Turn this left flank back a bit. My heavy cavalry get through there. It should have been my light cavalry, but my light cavalry were what was being attacked. So no. Good quick climb hit there. Foot artillery hit the general's bodyguard. Foot artillery is dealt with. You guys hit the 12 pounders. Enemy general's been killed. He's charging our line. Brave but foolish, my old friend. Charge the bowmen, otherwise they're just going to shoot at us. Let's get our heavy cavalry back towards our line as well. You men hit the bowmen because this infantry could be doing more good. Chasing down the general's bodyguard. Coming at us through the centre though. If you men can get up here and chase off the general's bodyguard that'd be great. My heavy cavalry has successfully made it back to my line. Regiment of horse charge the bowmen in the rear. Oh, that levy unit's been annihilated from quick climb fire. So many musketeers getting involved. Make sure the cavalry gets back. Bring the cavalry around in the centre. Are you guys still fighting the populace unit? I know you're fusiliers and you're not so great in melee combat, but oh my god. Pull the general's bodyguard back, pull my cavalry back, get you guys to flank around. You guys hit the fire lock on population, you guys hit Kizilbashi, you guys attack ground in the middle. Good, they've been destroyed. So I'm hoping I can knock out the general's bodyguard with this infantry to the rear. You guys get over here quickly through the town. I, mean, I know there's a fusiliers. Get involved in the fight. Nail this heavy cavalry through the town. The enemy general's bodyguard is starting to fall. So all my troops that are on the left are now making their way over here in significant numbers. My cavalry gonna have to hold up those levy units. my Lancer Guards actually to go hit foot artillery because you guys can fight the bowmen. The infantry unit that my my guys were fighting is now routing. You men charge into the combat. Cavalry charge the musketeers. My general has fallen. To be expected really. Desperate times call for desperate measures here. Switch my howitzers to round shot where they can 
plink at the general's bodyguard. You know, Bowman is. You guys just go take out the Bowman. Unsurprisingly, my guys are running out of steam on the left flank. All this artillery focus on that unit of Kizilbashi. So you men are going to fight the bowmen. You guys. Okay, those bowmen have been wiped out. Keep pushing. This heavy cavalry is going to go charge the rear here. Because this is quite like a, th a thin skin of allied troops here. It's tempting to charge the, the infantry there, but we're going to need to get... General's bodyguard that's entering the field is way too far away. There we go, they've been annihilated. The Lancer guards are back, my heavy cavalry's hit the the bowman in the rear, hoping to cause a bit of a chain route. That would be ideal. My heavy cavalry are holding on here, but I think we've been, well, we have been successful here with that one heavy cavalry charge. So you guys charge on. Let's get the, the new general's bodyguard over here, the Lancer Guard. Okay, they're both shattered. Okay, you guys now form a new line to fire into the flank. There, you guys. Oh, there, there we go. Things were really dodgy for for a while, but then, then they just broke. I mean, they're both shattered, but you may as well chase them down and try kill them. So my gunners can't hit the general's bodyguard, but my howitzers can. Who's up there? Bowman! You guys can charge Bowman. Get the heavy cavalry to support that concentration. Get these guys to push up and threaten that unit of musketeers. These fusiliers, to be honest, can reload and fire into the combat. Get over there and do some good. There you go, my artillery is now broke. My cavalry is now broken. Another levy unit in short order. So you men knock out these bowmen. They think they're winning, but my mercenaries are, are scrappy. These guys are going to open up and annihilate the unit of musketeers. Form line. My heavy cavalry can continue to chase down the enemy. The infantry, on the other hand have an obligation to try and kill that commander of enemy troops. See, the Bowmen say they're still winning, but there's plenty of time for my fellas to come in. Are they charging? No, they're just marching. Form square. I mean, what are elephants if not big horses? So get the cavalry to charge around the rear. General's gone. They've broken. Now it's just this bowman unit. Which will fall rather quickly. 
once they start to realise there's cavalry involved. <laughs> nice. So yeah, this army took quite a battering, really. Again, it comes down to splitting my forces in half. So the left started to get swamped as the right started to win. So the general's fallen. So the push on to Boston isn't going to happen. Because you guys are going to fall back. And Mr. Amoroso is going to be at the front. You're going to get a new general. Which will be Ciro Manfredini. And you are going to recruit two American infantry mercenaries. Now we can work on replenishing and upgrading the city. Good. Good, 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 good. Right. So these guys hopefully will drift within range of one of my armies, which I can defend against. Obviously built up a huge stock of troops here. Because that's... You men done as well, I think. A short two, two, two units. But I think it's time, really, we get ready to commence the, the new... Come on, just one of you. We're going to commence the reinvasion of South America. We're not worried about running people directly on ships without doing it in port because they're not going to be they're not going to be um, arriving next turn anyway, and they're going to be disembarking onto beaches as well. There we go. Lots of green armies for sure getting over there. I mean, you're just a bunch of cavalry, which we don't really need, but there we are. So you're recruiting three more infantry, but you only need one. Enrico, you hold ground there, because you're not really needed either. We've got a few other armies that are... I mean, yeah, you're going to get to Batumi, and then take a sloop to the theatre. Same with you. We purge, they still really don't like us. Understandable. I get it. You're still marching in. So in terms of stuff we've still got to do here. I could hit you, but you're depleted, so I don't really want to... I don't want to deplete armies already depleted. Most of these guys still have to make a move. Or they need to replenish anyway. Infiltrate with diaper. Same down here, really. They're either replenishing all their. They're either replenishing all their. Um, they finish their moves. Although. Can you leave my saw? Minus nine. No, they don't like us yet. These guys could be hit. But I'm okay to... I'm content to leave it. Pat, no, we still need to wait. Oh no, we still have to do some actions here, don't we? So I've moved this guy up, ready to respond if this guy retreats the wrong way. But Mr. Chetty... Do you know why he has to run all the way back and around? Oh, because he's on... It's not a crossing. Right, I get it. I'm, I'm a dummy. Okay, Mr. Endrizi... Go here, Ali Pani. Ooh, actually, he's going to bring in a bunch of reinforcements. No, 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 no. So let's reorientate these guys. Now there's a bit of a gap. Okay, so that will be quite a significant fight there, then. Okay, it's not a problem. Just now we're aware. You need to keep recruiting troops, because Katak won't let us move. Religious unrest is going down, but not quick enough. Keep Bengal recruiting. These fourth rates. 
don't really have to go anywhere. I'm going to move a unit of sepoys into the port, then recruit a unit of militia to take that job. So let's start to consolidate some of our ships together. Fundamentally, I don't think they pose enough of a naval threat to get to us there, but we do have... Let's beef you up more. But let's recruit a selection of sloops to occupy ports. Mangalore. We can take these thirds. I mean, we may as well start trying to combine some of these... Ooh, good. Perfect, actually. We can take this sixth rate over to occupy this port and move up this last fourth rate to join the fleet. Obviously they crash into each other at the Strait of Hormuz. But there are places where we've got big clusters of ships that we don't actually need big clusters of ships. Oh, a bunch of seconds. That's perfect. That's good. It split you up, I think. Two to join Mr. Greco, two to join Mr. Silviati. Same here, although we might have over, well, you have, because you've not done what I wanted you to do. Just done it again. I've selected two units. Leave the fleet. Join them, although. You can only take one anyway. Very well. So the sloop sell to your known. You know and you now. You guys sell it to Puri. To be honest, we don't need as many steam dry docks as we've got, but we might just start dismantling some of them. And again, it sent all of the ships, and it's like, no, I only want to send some of them. Okay. Obviously two heroic deaths from generals that have been replenished. Balthazar, you've been around for a while. Good. Huron territory can now be untaxed, so Balthazar... If I set you to attack this guy, you cross over there. I don't know why you can't cross here, but... Cross around to threaten some Moogle lands to the rear. I mean, you guys have the honour of trying to fight the uh, Plains Nations people, so get to about here. Okay. You are very much behind the lines, so you might try run over here. Okay, let's hit and turn and see what happens. More troops are on the march. More of my agents are on the march. Especially the ones that have a long way to cover. <laughs> the war could soon be over by the time they get there. There's the Mughal Empire. Well, the Mughal Empire, let's, they're going to be the ones to watch. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a bit of a long end turn, but we do need to... Well, we're making good progress. You know, you can't seem... You can't... You can't complain at that, really. We are doing well. We need to mass our troops to push into northern India, which is understandable. They are massing in the Americas still. They need to combine a number of their armies together because we've done an awful lot of fighting and we've really ground down their numbers. Yep. They've like that unit shuffled a bit just so they don't, they're not within a range of any of my armies. Another full army's crossed the river. Ooh. No, I don't want to intercept 
two of you, both of these units, but not with one army of mine. Yeah, they really are clustering around the cities. Understandable, but uh, foolish. Ooh, again. This army might... This army's probably going to get attacked regardless. But only against one army. Sweet. What a great outcome. Um, but, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you next time as we defend against another Moogle horde. Cheers, everyone.